needs to prick their finger to test their blood sugar level. It's a question that we get asked a lot by people with diabetes. Everyone with type 2 diabetes will get their blood tested out of their arm with the HbA1c test. Some people, in addition, will need to prick their finger regularly and I'm going to talk about those now. So generally, the people who need to prick their finger are those that are taking insulin. That might be an insulin injection or it might be a tablet like a sulfonylurea and you might know that as a drug like glicoside. And the reason is, if you're adding insulin to your system, that means that you're at risk of your blood sugar going too low. Remember that insulin, as it occurs naturally in the body, its role is to lower your blood sugar. So if you're adding it to your system, there's a risk that it could be lowered too far. And then you could have a hypo. And if you want to remind yourself of the symptoms of a hypo, that's very important to know if you're on insulin injections or you take glucoside, then make sure you refer to that section. We look for certain numbers with a finger prick test. And those numbers are different to the HbA1c numbers. They're actually a different kind of measurement. So a healthy target range if you have type 2 diabetes and you are finger pricking is 4 to 7 before you eat and around 8.5 90 minutes after eating. So if you are finger pricking before and after you eat, it's actually a really good guide to the impact of the food you're eating on your blood sugars. And our specialist dietitian can give you more advice about what kind of foods will maintain a healthy blood sugar level in that section. Now remember again, this is a difference to the HbA1c. If I took a HbA1c test on Monday and on Tuesday had a cake and took my HbA1c again, there wouldn't be much difference, if any, because it's looking at an average of your blood sugars. But if I were to take my blood now as a finger prick, hopefully it'd be between that four and seven, and then I ate a cake, wait an hour and a half, and we'd expect the blood sugar to go up. It's kind of a real time measure. So to go back to who needs to finger prick, we know that people who are taking insulin injections or a sulfonylurea tablet, and that's probably a glicoside, need to prick their finger. Other people may wish to finger prick because as I've just described, it's a really good way of checking the impact of your food on your blood sugars. And if you want to do that, you're very welcome to. But it's worth bearing in mind that the NHS doesn't fund the testing strips for people who aren't on insulin or on a glycoside tablet, apart from a very specific circumstances. So you need to fund those yourself. Another thing to bear in mind if you're finger pricking for your own choice to see how your blood sugars are doing is to make sure that you're doing it in a very consistent way. It's worth doing it over a few days and noting the results as doing it on one day won't tell you very much and it's worth noting what you're eating as well. So finally, you might want to know, well, how does this finger pricking work? So I'll give you a quick demonstration here. So first thing to do is wash your hands. So there's nothing on it that would interfere with the result. And make sure you don't use an alcohol hand gel as that can interfere. Second thing to do is you'll need your monitor and you just insert the strip at the bottom here, like so. Then, you take your lancet and you prick your finger. It's really important to wipe away the first drop of blood. And as well, if you're struggling to get the blood coming, don't squeeze your finger. It's better to stroke it along to encourage the blood to come. Then you just dip the test strip in like that, hold it there for a couple of seconds, 
and you'll get your result on the screen.